to the town of Munson by one of its residents. So we're going to ask that we unfold this flag and hold it out for everybody in town to see. Folks, veterans, please grab a corner. I'd like you to take the flag and turn it so that the people that are over here, so that the flag faces down the street, please. Turn this way. Counterclockwise. Counterclockwise. There you go. Tim and Tyler, let them know. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I'd like to take you back a half century ago and tell you about one of the most important tele television broadcasts of all time. It wasn't delivered by a world leader, a politician, or dignitary, but rather a clown. This just wasn't any clown. In fact, this person acted in 48 motion pictures, wrote over 5,000 musical compositions, including 64 symphonies authored over 400 short stories and full-length books, and as an artist, drew many of the clown pictures you still see today at Shriners Hospitals. For those of you old enough to remember, he was invited into your homes on CBS TV for over 20 years. Ladies and gentlemen, Red Skelton rose from poverty to become one of the most popular comedians of his day. Skelton was a very simple man. He liked to make people laugh. He loved God, country, and kids. Red Skelton, one of America's best loved comedians and star of motion pictures, radio, and TV, was also a, a true patriot. A man who loved this country, its flag, and the freedom America stood for. And on January 14th, 1969, nearly five, 50 years ago, Red touched the hearts of millions of Americans with his Pledge of Allegiance, which he explained the meaning of each and every word. Red's pledge was twice read into the Congressional Record of the United States and received numerous awards. In 1969, these were Red Skelton's personal view of the Pledge of Allegiance, broadcast on the Red Skelton Hour, CBS TV, January 14th, 1969. It went like this. I remember this one teacher. To me, he was the greatest teacher, a real sage of my time. He had such wisdom. We were all reciting the Pledge of Allegiance one day, and he walked over. Mr. Laswell was his name. He said, I've been listening to you boys and girls recite the Pledge of Allegiance all semester, and it seems as though it's becoming monotonous to you. If I may, May I recite it and try to explain to you the meaning of each word? I, me, an individual, a committee of one, pledge, dedicate all my worldly good to give without self-pity, allegiance, my love and devotion, to the flag, our standard, old glory, a symbol of freedom, and wherever she waves, there's respect, because when your loyalty has given her a dignity that shouts, freedom is everybody's job, of the united. That means we've all come together, states, individual communities that have united into 48 great states, 48 individual communities with pride and dignity and purpose, all divided by imaginary boundaries, yet united to a common cause. And that's love of country, of America. And to the republic, a republic, a sovereign state in which power is invested into the representatives chosen by the people to govern, and the people, the government is the people. And it's from the people to the leaders, not from the leaders to the people, for which it stands, one nation, meaning so blessed by God, indivisible, 
incapable of being divided with liberty, which is freedom, the right of power for one to live his own life without fears, threats, or any sort of retaliation, and justice, the principle and qualities of dealing fairly with others for all, for all. That means, boys and girls, it's as much your country as it is mine. Now, since I was a small boy, two states have been added to our country and two words have been added to the Pledge of Allegiance under God. Wouldn't it be a pity if someone said that's a prayer and that it be eliminated from our schools too? Now, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, let me hear you recite the Pledge of Allegiance with me. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. We have one last presentation. If I could ask Abigail Krutoff, age five, and Jonathan Krutoff, age two, to kindly come out and make a presentation. And here they come. This is their gift to say thank you because they know that when they grow up, they'll still be able to enjoy the freedom due to your dedication to the most recognized symbol in the world, our American flag and all that it stands for. Thank you veterans and current members of the armed services for your service to our country. Happy Independence Day, America. 242 years and still going strong. You may fold the flag, please. This will not be a formal folding. As the flag is so big, it requires some real technique. So that if you could just fold it over into flaps and we will fold it properly later on in the day. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, let's give a round of applause for our veterans and our armed service members. As we look down Main Street, we can see that the parade is approaching Munson Savings Bank. Very shortly, they will be here, and I'd like to take this opportunity to introduce to you our judges. First of all, lifelong resident and electrician and used to be one of my Cub Scouts, Mr. Tim Newton. From the Bronze Boutique and Tanning Salon, we have Nicole Finney. Oh, 
age 13 from the eighth grader from the Granite Valley Middle School and just happens to be my granddaughter, Olivia Valencourt. And lastly, we have Amy Forkey, our assistant branch manager at Munson Savings. These four people are going to be the people who decide who wins the beautiful trophies here. Now, if you have people out there that are in the parade and you really want them to win the trophy, they will take cash. They're not below taking bribes. We have some events coming up. There is a pie eating contest at high noon. It's at the OK Corral Gazebo. You need to sign up by 11 o'clock in order to see if you can out eat everybody else. Munson Summerfest is having their eighth annual shopping raffle. You can get a book of six tickets for $5 or a dollar each with the drawing November 25th. 2018, you can get tickets at the Munson Summerfest booth. The Munson Afghan, the Air Loan is available for $20. I'm sorry, for $45 at the information booth. Let's have a round of applause for the Munson Police Department. The Munson Palmer Color Guard, 126th Brigade, from the Munson American Legion Post 241, Commander John Silva, the Army National Guard. Thank you. So the question everybody wants to know is whether that Hummer has air conditioning. No. Thank you. If you would like to get one of these very spiffy Munson Summerfest stadium blankets, they're on sale at the information booth for $20 each or two for $35. Please support Munson Summerfest. A marching band with people from all ages, from Munson and surrounding areas. Once again, let me introduce to you the Quaybog Highlander Pipe and Drum. And a special remembrance to Bruce Clark, who passed this year, who donated his time with the Highlanders and for Summerfest and for the town of Munson for years.
Okay, a question for you folks. Did anybody here attend the Munson Summerfest fireworks at Quarry Hill a week and a half ago? Raise your hand or let out a cheer. Pretty good, huh? We had food, entertainment, followed by spectacular fireworks provided by Atlas Pyrovision Productions. You don't realize how much that this group at Atlas Pyrovision has helped out the town of Munson. Through the years, they gave us a break on the year of the tornado on our fireworks. Awesome. So did you know that the Munson Summerfest, including the fireworks, are organized and run by about the same dozen people every year? That's it, only about a dozen. And why do they do it? Well, the first, they want to give back to their town. They want to celebrate our country's Independence Day. And not necessarily for people to come up to them and say thank you, although they do appreciate hearing it. Mostly because it's fun and it's a family thing for them to do. The biggest complaint heard around Summerfest celebration is it's the same old stuff every year. What you don't know is that there's a long list of events and activities that they would love to implement. The problem is there's only about a dozen of the same people who do all the work every year. Some of them are stepping back after this year's celebration. The solution is simple. We need some individuals and their families to step up and volunteer to help. If you don't think you have anything to offer, think again. One person for one hour makes a huge difference, whether it's in preparation for or during the Summerfest celebration. If everyone did just a little piece, Summerfest would be much more awesomer than it already is. To offer your services, please leave your contact details at the information booth in front of Woodbine or with any Summerfest member. They're the ones wearing the red Summerfest shirts with our mascot, Sonny, on the front. And don't forget to tell them thank you. Next, we have Uncle Sam. Hey, Uncle Sam, thank you so much. And we have Sonny, our mascot. I want all the kids to let out a scream and say, hi, Sonny. I recognize that walk anywhere. Get him a Dr. Pepper. Ladies and gentlemen, this year's Grand Marshals of the Munson Free Library. The statewide reading theme this year is Libraries Roke. And we certainly think we do. The float represents the old library built of Munson granite in 1882. Surrounded by all the new and innovative services and resources the library provides the Munson community today. I realize it's hot, but the two of you in the back of the truck there, you can wave the flag a little more vigorously, please. There you go. I don't want to play that guitar. Our Board of Selectmen, Dr. Richard Smith and Ed Harrison. Got him backwards there, but you get the idea. Nice car, honk that horn. Again, again. And, and Gobi. And Gobi. Senator, right? Yes. Our Senator. Thank you so much, Ann. And this year, I still forgot. Our Munson Rotary Club Citizen of the Year, Mr. Kurt Jamison. Over the years, he's been an active member of our community, giving us continued and wholehearted support for Munson residents. Thank you so very much. Next, we have the Glendale, Munson Glendale Methodist Church 
celebrating 50 years supporting our town of Munson. Our Munson Fire Department, Chief Laurent McDonald. Thank you so much, sir. That bottled water is almost empty. Thank you very much. Munson Bellman. No. No, they're way down there. All right, come on, give us the princess wave. There you go. At the count of three, I want all the Munson trucks to let go with the biggest sirens they can. One, two, three, go! Holy cow, I can't hardly hear nothing no more. What in the hell is this? The Munson Bellman, 1953 American La France. The Bellman Museum is celebrating its 47th year. And either they're in a hurry to go get beer or these people are really slow. I'm not sure which. Well, it is a dog carriage parade. <laughs> well, they're not hurrying. Well, it's the doll carriage parade. I'm sure they're not hurrying to get beer. The Quaybog Riders, Women's Auxiliary, Doll Carriage, and Bike Parade. Let's give the round of applause. Uh, something near and dear to my heart. As a forder, former assistant scoutmaster, I'm proud to announce the Munson Cub Scout Pack 168 and Munson Troop 168. May all of you get your names up on that plaque in the church for Eagle Scout. All right, I need all of these variety of 1928 to 1931 Fords and more from the Western Mass Model A restores to honk their horn.
My grandfather didn't have one of those. For those of you kids out there, if you see a squished Tootsie Roll, don't pick it up. You don't know what it might be. Ladies and gentlemen, we are proud to say thank you to the Stafford Fire Department for joining us and celebrating 4th of July with us here in the town of Munson. So thank you very much. Oh, come on. You're a lot hornier than that. There we go. Thank you very much. Let's hear the siren one last time. Let's go. <laughs> Stafford Fire Rescue EMS serving the community since 1934. Yes. That's better. Yeah, bring it, bring it. Boop, boop. West Stafford Fire Department, the Pierce Tanker and Pierce Kenworth. Thank you so much. So how do they come up with the number R144? Just one of those things we don't know. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Quaybog Riders, William and Auxiliary celebrating 40 years! The Quaybog Riders Motorcycle Club, home of the oldest hill climb in the east. And it's right here in our great town of Munson, Massachusetts. Anybody here from Wales, Massachusetts? If so, let out a cheer. Anybody from Holland? Wilbraham. Palmer. It's okay, you can stay. We love you. Oh, let's give them a tremendous round of applause. Our Quaybog riders. Williams Auxiliary, once again, thank you so much for celebrating with us at our Summerfest Parade. All right, kids, who's this? It's not Gumby. It's Thomas the Tank Engine. Wrong. Thomas the Train.
going to take this time to promote the Munson Rotary Club's Duck Race, which is going to be held at 10 o'clock this Saturday down at the Chicopee Brook. If you haven't gotten your tickets yet, please adopt a duck and support the Rotary Club and the Lions Club of Munson. Their booth is in front of Woodbine Store. They do so much for the town of Munson. Let's give them a round of applause for everything that they do. As we're waiting for the Green Room Productions to make their arrival, the Munson Summerfest is having their shopping raffle. You can get tickets at the information booth. Also, I'd like to give a shout out to Adams Market because what they did is the roundup with their cash registers this year. When you came in, they asked you if you could round up to support the Summerfest. They've been doing this every year and they have been supporting our Summerfest incredibly. So please, let's give them a round of applause. Thank you so much, Adams. For the young lady in the cart, very patriotic. Let's cheer for her. That yeah. was Alice Noti, for those of you who don't know. But what you probably know all about is Green Room Productions. Their theater productions and education outreach program here in the town of Munson has been going on for years and years and years. And they are so creative and so awesome. Let's give them an awesome Hey, shout out. Once again, Green Room Productions. You know, when I think of Girl Scouts, I think of Girl Scout cookies. When I think of Girl Scout cookies, I think about pies. And we're having our pie eating contest at high noon at the gazebo here. Please sign up by 11 o'clock if you want to be a member of the pie eating contest. And now we have the Munson Girl Scouts. I want everybody to stand and cheer. Anybody need water? Olivia, water? Ladies and gentlemen, it is an honor to introduce to you the Palmer Fire Department. Thank you so much for attending. That's a 1989 Maxim S model pumper. So let's hear what uh, the siren sounds like in this one. Lay on that horn. The Palmer Cub Scout Pack 164 and Boy Scouts, thank you so much. We appreciate the camaraderie you have built up with our town of Munson and scouting. Thank you. Oh, by the way, number 14 is Jameson Forky. That's at 47. That's mom right here. Just. <laughs> The Palmer Cowboys Safe Instruction Program. Oh, let's give a better round of applause for them. No favoritism from up here at all. The Massachusetts Department of Conversation. Only you can prevent wildfires. 
And that's Smokey Bear. It is not, the is not his middle name. It's Smokey Bear, not Smokey the Bear. <laughs> District Warden, Massachusetts Forest Fire Control. What is this yellow truck? The license plate is bugging you. Dave's Pest Control. Complete termite and pest control services. Our family protecting your family since 1972. Get the bug out of here. Thank you very much. All right, this one doesn't need any introduction. Everybody just knows what it is. Everybody goes there. Everybody cheers for them. So let's cheer for D&D. &D. Thank you. All the way from Willington, Connecticut, joining us for our parade for the 163rd consecutive year with their 2002 Western star 3,000 gallon tanker, the Willington Hill Fire Department. And right behind them, trying to push them out of the road is the Brimfield Fire Department. We have a 2,000, oh, fire it up. Thank you, Brimfield, thank you very much. Helping youths become good citizens. The young Marines of Westover. Thank you very much. We appreciate your service. And the Marine Corps League, helping veterans in the community. Thank you so very much. The Westfield River Valley. A special announcement, the Dolphins swim team is inviting everybody here at Summerfest to the pool immediately after the parade. Let's have a tremendous round of applause for our Dolphin swim team from Munson, Massachusetts. Feel free to squirt any of the judges. I just got struck right in the face with a big blast of water. The minute I touch my tongue to this microphone, I'm dead. <laughs> what in the heck is this big truck? Madero's Hydro Seating. Thank you so much for participating in Munson's Summerfest annual parade. So tell me, folks, you enjoying yourself so far? Didn't think so. Replicating the look and music of the 19th century fife and drum course, playing martial music of the period, as well as original arrangements of fiddle tunes, spirituals, and early blues, the Connecticut Valley Field Music.
members, members dedicating themselves to make public awareness of the 10th Massachusetts Regiment in the Civil War era of American history. The 10th Massachusetts Volunteer Infantry Militia. A custom-built 1932 Ford Roaster from Wayne Langevin. Absolutely stunning. A 1930 Ford Coupe from Ed Legue. A 1966 Ford Mustang Coupe from Jeff Como. For wicked good deals and free demo rides six days a week, we got the wicked power sports. So how wicked are you? Yeah, 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 there's always one. It's you. The, thank you, Wales Fire Department. Engine number two, a 1999 Freightliner. And a tanker number one, a 2017 Freightliner. We appreciate you coming over and supporting the Munson Summerfest. A 1970 Ford pickup driven by Peter Warren. I don't know whether you notice, he's got nobody in the passenger seat because he doesn't want to get the seat dirty. A 1967 antique military Jeep, Jeep. Michael Casalis. Thank you so much. Oh! The Wilbraham Fire Department. And a souped up car following too closely behind. The Car Club of New England. They drive together to raise money for Shriners and the Pioneer Valley USO. Thank you for doing this. Wow, this is one of the longest parades we've had in Munson in years. For those of you, uh, the porter potties are behind the gazebo. Thank you, Car Club in New England. Boys and girls, the Bondsville Fire Department, who are going to turn on their sirens and their horns, full blast for you.
this still part of Bondsville? You know? Just say I'm a thing. Three Rivers Fire Department? That's not true. Three Rivers is next, but I don't know. Where do you see Three Rivers? No, I'm, I'm looking at your oh. thing. Yeah, I know. I'm not sure who I, this I is. This is a real cool fire engine. What town are you from? Three Rivers! Here comes Alice. Hi, Alice. Thank you, Three Rivers. Ladies and gentlemen, Samick Trucking, Mike Samick and crew. I want honk your horns in unison. One, two, three. Flamingo Motorsports. Got to be up on two wheels here. Very, very cool. Everybody say hi, Jay Hill. The old guys, the old car guys breakfast club, a 1930 Model A pickup. And a 1951 Ford F1 pickup, Jeep C1. I love the paint job. No poaching in that truck. Well, the next people coming down are Camelot Kennels. And the reason that there's such a long delay is there's a fire hydrant on the corner at Woodbine. <laughs> it's a corgi, it's got short legs. Year to think about it, Dan. I already, I already have <laughs> next year. I 
Okay, right. next year as I grow. Yeah. So I, I'm going to ask you this question. Yeah. What the building across the street, without looking, what's what does it say on the front of it? <laughs> Memorial <laughs> Hall. Oh. <laughs> you know what? I, I, I'm looking for a trick question. Camelot Kennels. So everything went well at the fire hydrant down there? That's the reason you were behind? Okay, that's good. Thank you so much for participating in our Summerfest parade. A 1969 Chevy Chevelle SS by Roger Brodeur. Wearing a USA t-shirt, you can't get any muddier than that. See the USA in your Chevrolet. 1971 Dodge Challenger. Kevin Copes. Okay, so that's not a, that's, so that one's gone. 1950 Shoebox Ford from Chuck Watts. Somebody on the reviewing stand is saying hi to you <laughs> over here. 1974 F100 pickup. Marcel Levesque. I like the hood ornaments. Our Summerfest Business of the Year, oh, B&B B Landscaping. Oh, Robert Nashaka. Yeah, They're thankful for the trust and loyalty of more than 250 Munson area families, business owners, and national grid accounts that have allowed them to work with them. Thank you so much. That's still part of it, right? Oh, it's all still part of it, yep. I'm just want, I wonder if Rob's driving one of the trucks, though. So. Oh, nice, look, he's got a hose. Oh, yeah. see? Sweet. I gave him a, I gave them a one. Um, you know what? I gotta give them one. They got, they mowed a lawn, they got water. Look at the, wow. Spraying down the cow. Awesome. That's awesome. I had to give them one and a one. Yeah. You know what? Oh, man, you gotta cut back on the fluids. B and B Landscaping has all of its trucks here. Your home, your yard at home is turning yellow, but he's riding in the parade. <laughs> Busy booby. Busy booby. Busy boobies landscaping. That's what it stands for. I'm just wondering if Rob is in one of the trucks. Do you want to say it? And I'll let you know when he's here. Oh yeah. Busy booby, Bob. Busy booby, Bob. Busy booby. Busy booby. Bob. That's what his original. No, not Bob. No. Busy booby no. landscape. Yeah, but his name is wow. Robert. Rob Robert. 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 Robert.
BB stands for Busy Booby. Our Summerfest Business of the Year. This is Randy Ketterman in this truck. Oh, Hi, Randy. Hi, Mammy. Hey, Jay. Jay. I'll tell you the same thing I told the other person. Cut down on the fluids. Hi, Nevea. Hi, Steve. Hi, Steve. Everybody say hi, Steve. And the last truck is my son, Josh, with Nanook. Let's give a shout out to Josh Slozak and Nanook in this truck. Oh, Busy Booby. All I can smell is fertilizer. Perfect. Ah. Ladies and gentlemen, Dixieland, the downtown Dixieland band. All right. Let's do that again and see if we can get people dancing all over the place. I want everybody dancing. All right, judges, stand up and dance. That was awesome. March. Like to thank CJ's restaurant from Palmer for participating. Thank you so much for being a member of Summerfest this year. And at the end of our parade, Squire and Company, same owner since 1874. Ladies and gentlemen, the 39th annual Summerfest Parade, sponsored by the Munson Summerfest, has come to a conclusion. 
Happy birthday, America. Enjoy the day. Our 21 gun salute. Will you all please stand, remove your hats for the national anthem sang by the beautiful Nicole Wimet.
How do you top that voice? Wow. I have a special reading at this point, if you would just hold on. A gentleman approached me a few days ago. He wrote this uh, called Lady of Liberty. His name is Mr. Charles Barnes. It was read at the Centennial 86, 4th of July at Ellis Island. Mr. Charles Barnes. Greetings, everybody. When the Statue of Liberty turned 100 years old, and she didn't mind if you told her, it was celebrated in New York that year on the 4th of July. These are the words I wrote for that occasion. And as a lady had asked if she could take them to New York, so that is where they were first read. And now they come home. Independence Day, Lady of Liberty. Near the harbor's open path have I stood, the pride of time. Saw waves upon the waves bring into sight those bundled travelers from abroad. And I would continue as I have welcoming the windborne and needy until wings should fill no sky nor blue oceans beat. The heart says more to others beyond, and I would further to the heavens the last hope sent here earthward. But change has not stood so still, but a force sets upon us that more bound are we on a fuller shore. Not liberty less do I hold out. America was found here before I was and unto itself will be free while wisdom stays and the sturdy know this ground. Thank you. Thank you, Charles Barnes. At this time, I'd like to bring our selectmen forward with the presentation of the Citizen of the Year, Mr. Kirk Jameson. Kurt Jameson, Citizen of the Year. He's coming. He's coming. So, this is a proclamation from the Munson Board of Selectmen. Whereas the Munson Board of Selectmen, on this auspicious date, is hereby honoring Kurt Jameson as the 2018 Citizen of the Year for his many years of selfless offering of service and commitment to people everywhere, and particularly the people of our community. And whereas most residents recognize Kurt for his volunteering with the Quaybog Riders Motorcycle Club, Munson Summerfest Committee, Munson Arts Committee, or being a 15-year member of the Munson Lions Club. And whereas Kurt illustrates the good neighbor who cares about his family, friends, and community, and is known as a bonder of the community, someone whose modest presence and underscored deeds quietly make Munson a treasured place to live and establish roots. And whereas Kurt coordinates the site and wellness programs hosted by the Munson Lions Club, he has been in charge of running the annual Academy Hill Derby during the Munson Summerfest every July 4th for 12 years. For the past 32 years, he has been working the concession stands at the Quaybog Riders Clubhouse. He is one of the principal organizers of the annual Western Mass Performs Talent Show 
and scholarship offered through the Munson Arts Council. And he volunteers at the Rotary Club Lucky Duck Race and the Arts Council Annual Art Show. Whew. Busy guy. <laughs> so, now, therefore, the Munson Board of Selectmen proclaim this day, July 4th, 2018, to be the Kurt Jamison Day. And, and we call upon all our citizens to especially honor and show our sincere appreciation and congratulations to him for all of his wonderful contributions to Munson. Signed, Richard Smith, John Morrell, Edward S. Harrison, Munson Board of Selectmen. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. I'm here on behalf of the Munson Rotary to present Kurt with this year's plaque for the Citizen of the Year uh, for his dedication and commitment to community service. As uh, was previously said, his, his, his contributions go far beyond Munson. Uh, so on the, for the town of Munson, on behalf of the Munson Rotary Club, I present this to you, Kurt, with our motto of service above self. And if there's anybody I've ever known who's uh, really lived that, it is you. So I thank you very much, and congratulations. <laughs> thank you all. I just great honor and you know it's uh you know it it's i'm happy to be a citizen of munson the same as my father was and hi, and his parents before that and when their parents moved into munson quite a while ago you know and uh i'm also proud to have raised my son in munson and to watch him raise his family here too you know and uh yeah. Yeah. and uh you know it's I started with the Lions Club in, in service work when my father passed, passed away. He was, a, he was a long time lion and I joined the Lions Club in, in his behalf, not knowing how far this would reach at the time, you know. But uh, over the years, I have built a bond with, with everybody in this community. And uh, the, my work with, with the Lions Club, the Quaybog Riders Club, and, and the, all these others have been a really good experience for me, you know. And, uh, and uh, you know, it's, the, the Lions Club has brought me not only in this community, but has brought me to the statewide. And I recently just returned from the Lions Club International Convention, where I served as a volunteer in Las Vegas, which, which was a pretty good experience. And uh, I would just like to end my very short speech with the, with, 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 with the Lions Club toast, which would be not above you, not beneath you, but with you. And thank you all for this great honor. Thank you, Kurt, and congratulations. As you know, our Grand Marshals today for the Munson Free Library. And could I please get the Business of the Year, BB Landscaping, Rob Nashaka up here. Yeah. Every year, the Munson Summerfest recognizes a business that supports the Summerfest. This year is BB Landscaping, owned by Rob Nashaka. Our team at BB Landscaping is thankful for the trust and loyalty of more than 250 Munson area residents, businesses, family owners, and national grid accounts. We've evolved from the backyard carport of Rob Nashaka's busy booby, childhood home on Bogan Road, to a growing business supported by the hard work, attention to detail, and passion of 13 full-time and numerous part-time team members servicing properties all over western and central Massachusetts. It's incredible to look back to see how a seven-year-old's entrepreneurial energy and passion for helping people combined with a childhood desire to buy all the things he ever dreamed of. Have you got them all? No, he's still working on those. Has grown into BB Landscaping we know and love today. We take pride in the quality service and product we deliver and thank you immensely for your support. Many wishes for a safe, happy, and memorable 4th of July. Thank you, the BB Landscaping team. Rob Nashaka. 
Tyler Bailey, Garrett Bior, Becky Brown, Brian Kuchar, Nick Ellsworth, Brian Goodwin, Randy Ketterman, Jaden Messina, Steve Nishaka. Let me take a breath. Tom Nishaka, C.J. Olson, Chris O'Neill, Diane Opal, Dave Pagan, Nick Parker, Josh Slozak, Miles Stevens, Ian Talmadge, and Louis Vacon. The Summerfest thanks you. I have a plaque for you that I'll drop off. Thank, Thank you. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. All right. <laughs> now, you can. now you can go back to the beer garden. Thank you. <laughs> Our judges are still tallying their the judging on the... I'd like to introduce the judges now. Amy Forkey, Olivia Valancourt, Tim Newton, Nicole Finney. So as soon as they get everything tallied up, we'll present the prizes to the award winners of the parade. At this time, I'd like to announce our shopping raffle and our fireworks trip. The fireworks trip is on August 18th, you can sign up at the information booth in front of the Woodbine store if you want to go to that. We're also selling our shop shopping raffle tickets. First prize is $500. Second prize is $100. Third prize is $50. You can purchase those at the information booth. Our full day uh, schedules are at each end of the town. There's one over here to my right of the, informa of the reviewing stand and another one at the north end of town in the corner of State and Main Street. Take a look at that, see what's going on today. Also, I'd like to mention, we're looking for help. Like our MC of the parade said, we got a lot of people that are stepping away. It's only about 12 that do this whole thing. So please, contact our information booth and sign up and help us. As soon as our judges are done, we'll announce the winners of the parade. Thank you. Okay, all right. Okay, the winners of the parade. Senior marching units, first and second place. Second place, Marine Corps. In first place, Quaybog Highlanders. Quaybog Highlanders, senior marching units. Junior marching units, first and second place. In second place, Munson Troop, 168. In first place, the Palmer Cowboys. I said Palmer, this is Munson. Palmer, I know where I live. <laughs> Palmer. <laughs> Not Palmer, Palmer. <laughs> Best appearing float, first, second, and third place. In third place, Camelot Kennels. Second place, the Munson Glendale Church. First place, Green Room Productions. Best appearing fire, Stafford Fire Department. Tony, Tony, Tony. Best appearing fire, you're right here. Give him, give him the trophy. Best appearing fire. Best appearing fire. Thank you, thank you. Best appearing fire, Tony. Fire. Congratulations, Stafford. Good job. Best appearing motor vehicle. BB Landscaping. Okay, Robert, get out of the beer tent. Rob, you got to come out of the beer tent again. <laughs> well, she was doing something, Tony. Huh? Uh, blueberry. And the judge's favorite, in memory of Richard D. Noble, Young Marines of Westover. And those are all the parade winners. Thank you. Enjoy the rest of the day, and please make sure you drink a lot. Young Marines. Young Marines.
Welcome everyone to the second annual Munson Pie Eating Contest. The Table Talk, America's favorite pies, our sponsor, please. Let's get a big round of applause, make some noise for our four contestants. our contestants. First name, please. Olivia. And Olivia, where are you from? Um, Olivia from Munson. Let's hear for Olivia from Munson. And who do we have here? Chloe. Chloe, where are you from? Palmer. Palmer. Let's hear for Chloe from Palmer. And who are you? Mackenzie. Let's hear for Mackenzie from Munson. And last but not least, who do we have? Anthony. Anthony, where are you from? Munson. Let's hear it for Anthony. Okay, everyone. You guys ready? Okay. What are you here for? Hi, yes. All right. Okay. Make more um, make more people happy about me, cause some people um like Kevin Morris. Okay. So let's do this. You ready? Oh, well, here's what we're gonna do. You ready? You guys are here for a pie eating contest. So first thing that you really need to have for a pie eating contest is some teeth. So show me your teeth. Oh my God, that looks mean. Anthony, what are you doing? You look like you're ready to bite someone. All right. Okay, so, like I said, this is a pie eating contest. So what do you think the concept of this is? What do you think you have to do? You think it's eat the pie, but, the real concept is trying to get as much of that pie out of the pie tin as you can. And you know what that means? You need to what? Eat it. Get your face into it. Get your nose into it. Get some in your ear. Get some up your nose. Okay, so you gotta be as messy as you can. Get that pie out of the tin. The winner will be the one who gets the most pie out of that tin, eating it up. If we have any ties, we'll weigh the pies that are left over. You will have four minutes to eat the pie. If you want to get down, I'm going to show you the way. it is. Let me hear you say. Okay, are you guys ready? Here we go. Everyone are gonna count down from the count of five. Ready? Five, four, three, two, one, go! Eat, 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 eat! Get your face into that pie! Are we, oh my God, this is a spectacle beyond words, yet there's words coming out of my mouth. Keep eating, get your face into it. No hands, no hands. Come on folks, root your favorite on here, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, let's go, guys. Eat, eat, eat. Oh, 
One minute. You got three minutes. Three minutes to go. Come on, guys. Go, go, go. Eat, eat, eat. Oh, my God. That is disgusting. <laughs> keep eating, keep eating. Are you going to be okay? You know, you got some in your ear. <laughs> How are we doing over here? Oh, it's good. How's the pie? No. <laughs> oh my gosh, look at you go. Did your parents feed you this morning? Okay. <laughs> How we doing, Anthony? You doing good? Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, 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 oh okay. <laughs> Keep eating, Anthony. Keep eating. That's two minutes. You got two minutes remaining, guys. Keep going. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Get that face in that pie. Would it be true to say that I ordered you? Or is it you that ordered me? I could say you are the only one Oh my God, it's a battle, it's a fierce competition. Keep going, keep going. One minute remaining. Five seconds, five, four, three, two, one, and okay, you're done. Let's see who we got for a winner. We're gonna hold up the pies. Oh my God, look at this. It overflowed, it's overflowed right. Okay, we're gonna do this by a round of applause. There's one. Woo! Good job, awesome. Okay, it's here for number two. Number three. And number four. And our winner is? Kenzie. Kenzie, Kenzie. All right, it's here for Kenzie. You are our second annual Table Talk Pie Eating winner. Congratulations. Thank you. Okay, guys, thank you. Take your water bottles with you. We got some paper towels here somewhere for you. We'll have you clean up. I think you're a mess. <laughs> okay. Okay. Okay, guys, just take it off very carefully. There you go. Throw it in the bucket here. Are you guys okay? Yeah. I feel like I'm going to You are? Did you have some water here? Take some water. Take some water, okay? Anthony, 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 come on over here. 
just so we can get a picture of you guys together. Ready? Here, put that in there, too. Smile. Smile, everybody. Great job. All right. That's enough. I got you. Okay. Great job, guys. Great job. Awesome job.